Morning. Welcome to London. I'm here with Tom. Hello, mate. You right? He's from Columbia. I'm good, mate. Mate, you're looking at me with a rather sinister look on oh, your face. Oh, very good. Very good. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm happy, mate. We're in good spirits. It was a nice little calm window as usual for us. But now it was exciting, wasn't it? It's, um, obviously, we're not going to see him today. And I feel for Jaden a little bit. He's a little bit underrated. But we've got a quality player in there, so I'm happy. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, I'm not being funny. We don't know how it's all panned out, but... From the sounds of it, we've just quickly gone. They need a player. Give him Jaden because he's the lowest in the pecking order. And yeah, he's yeah he's been playing some minutes, so he'd probably be surprised. And they've got some good wiggers as it is, Leeds. So I don't think he walks in there. But yeah, listen, it, you never know. I know it ended up horribly for Fraser, but when he had that loan at Ipswich, he come back a different player. Yeah, so, maybe. so it could be a good. I mean, it could do him really well. But um, we might not see him again either. And if the last thing he did to us was that assist, what a bad way to end, was it? But no, I hope Jaden does really well there. But yeah, we've just got a... Oh, it's just weird, isn't it? Why Sinistera chose a club that haven't got a big stadium or a lot of history? Weird. It's almost like it's almost like it's better to play a league higher, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> weird that. Right, so we had a lovely journey up this morning in the car. I love London games. Love them. 90 minutes in the car to Richmond. We're about to get on the tube to Gunnersbury. And then we might have a soft drink. We're here. Look who it is, Ben Phillips. You alright, mate? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. How are you feeling after the uh, transfer window yesterday? Because we were linked with uh, Pats and Dakar. Yeah. Uh, there are a few links, but um, we got one through the door. Yeah. Jaden Anthony out the door. Kiefer Moore was nearly out the door, but then seemingly changed his mind. As a whole, though, the window's been excellent, sir. Oh, yeah, 100%. It's been kind of pretty much what we needed, apart from maybe we've got a striker, would have been good, but yeah, it's been a very good window for us. Well, I've got Neil and Louis here. Neil, I was just saying off camera, I've got a funny feeling that we could get something here today. And me, yeah. yeah. No Ivan Tony. And they'll be complacent, which Brentford not normally complacent against us. Yeah. And I really think that we might snatch something on the break. So I'm, I've got the same feeling as you. Louis? I don't. Oh, go on. Oh. <laughs> go on, what are you careful? Um, 1 0 Brentford's. <laughs> oh, I love that. What do, you, um, what do you make of the transfer window as a whole? Uh, as a whole, it's all right. I, don't think, I think we've got some good players in. I'm not sure we've got the right balance. So I, was, I thought, surely we're not going to go for our 34th winger like we did yesterday um, when we've got no reserve left back and no real cover defensive midfield wise. But, um, and shame to see Anthony go out because he started two games as well. So I think. Iriola obviously rates him because he wouldn't have started him ahead of other people for two games. Yeah. So, yeah, so up until that point, I was quite quite happy with some of the people we brought in, but I didn't think yesterday was all, all that much. Mark, say hello, mate. You right? Yeah, not bad, mate. Yourself? Beautiful retro shirt. Yeah, I'm good, mate. Um, quickly, we've, we'll just touch on the transfer window as a whole. It's been all right, but yesterday we were linked with all sorts, weren't we? Yeah, I think it's been a really good window. I think Anthony going came out of nowhere, but then... Did we need another winger? So I think it makes sense. Um, yeah, really pleased. I, I still think we're lacking a, a Dom backup. Yeah. But do you know what? I think um, Semenya could play there, Clive could play there. So I think I think he really knows what he's doing, and it's been a positive window. For the fish finger bat. I thought it was going to be quite small, but it looks like I'm going to be eating for the next few hours. So look at this. This is Tiggsy's food. Tiggs, what did you order? It's a. Uh, it's what they call a. What do they call it? A, a Brentford football special. Okay, so you got Thomas Frank's hot sauce on there. Thomas you? Frank's hot sauce. Yeah, that's probably the the highlight. And then we've got we've got a variety of protein heavy meats yeah. with um, some onion rings, get your veggies in and some potato wedges, which are thick, hot, just the way I like them. Brentford today, how do you feel it's going? I've got this f f 
funny feeling that we might, might be able to get something. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why. Our, our Premier League form against them is not great, but no. what, do you, what do you think? I've got a weird feeling. I've never been here before. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. It's one of the grounds I've not been to. It was yeah. my girlfriend's 30th birthday last year, so she ruined that one for me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I've got a weird feeling. I think week on week we're going to be getting better because he's had a week longer to work with the players. The yeah. fitness will improve. The Irola ball or whatever you want to call it will develop so I think at some point it's going to kick in and we'll, we'll sh- put in a performance that I think will shock a few people what's your prediction then Mark what are you going for I mean last time Amy came we were at Forest and we won 3-2 so I'm going to go 3-2 alright and Amy what are you going for, what are you going for? I'm going to go one all. I think draw today yeah. still optimistic I'll take it <laughs> <laughs> Two o'clock teams are out. Thomas Jordan, what's going on, mate? I haven't got it bang on because surprisingly Jay Nantley's not in there. Yeah, yeah. But apart from that, I was bang on. Um, Neto's in goal. Back four of Aaron, Zabani, Senesi, and Kirkes. As I predicted, actually, Lewis Cook comes in for Rothwell. Philip Billin and Ryan Christie either side. Semenyo, Cliver, and Solanke as the front three. Good to see Smith and Tavernier back on the bench as well as Radu, Mepham, Rothwell, Kilkenny, Traore and Brooks and Kiefer Moore. So, I'm happy with that, mate. Yeah, yeah it's kind of what I expected after Jaden obviously was unavailable. Please for Lewis, see how he gets on today. I'll see if I can quickly, while you're on the camera, mate, you can uh, fill some time if you want. I'll have a look at the Brentford. Flecken, Hickey, Piddock, me, Henry, Norgard, Janelt, Jensen, Mbwemo, Sharda and Visser. So, the only one I got wrong was that Ben Mee is in, and someone's out. Uh, Collins is out. Yeah. One person out for either side then, yeah? yeah Can't get the staff yeah. these days, I, t- I should just go it alone. Prediction, Logan, what are you going for? Um, two Bournemouth. Two Bournemouth? Who's scoring? Solanke uh, and Brooks. Billy Day's here. Uh, Hello, mate. What are you going for, mate? What are you going for? I don't think there'll be much in it. I'm going to go for one all draw. One all. Pete? You know what? I'm going to agree with him for once. One all draw, I wow. think. Wow. Last, yeah. time we was at, we had, we, last time we were at Brentford, we had the massive argument about if we were going down. He like, said they'll go down, and I said, nah, they're going to stay up. So. For once we agree, then we go. Who was right? <laughs> I did my punishment. I'll leave that debate over there. Right, that's the Gunnersbury done. I tell you what, it's come out of the pub. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at it. Up them cherries. Spot Stadium. We are in. to this stadium no I've been to Griffin Park several times and uh, never never seen us lose there so I'm hoping I can take that with me today um, they're a good side though aren't they I don't necessarily think that they're the one man side and the fact that they're unbeaten maybe shows that they're, they're a team that uh, I think the coach has got them performing above their level of individuals and, and they're solid well organised I think, I think they're a good team I, I, I have a lot of respect for Brentford Oh, there he is. There he is. He's just trying to find his seat. No. Have you found where we sat yet? Oh, let's go then. Come on. More food outlets up here. The Brentford Community Stadium. Here it is.
Thank God that was outside the box, eh? Right, a bit of a Neto a howler. Thank God it was outside the box, eh? Brentford free kick here. And a bit of a tasty position for them, really. If they just hit it in at pace, I mean, it could go anywhere, but uh, there's a couple of them behind it. I don't know how much you plan for a free kick from this area, but I suspect they're just gonna hit it in at pace. Here we go. Yeah, look. I mean, good save by Nessie, good save. And look, everyone's surrounding the referee, and I. Th it went, it, it's a goal! It's a goal! It went over the line! What, you, what can you say about that? I mean, the pride, the pride of oh, not much you can say about that. It went on for so long, though. It went on for so long. I don't really understand how that didn't go off straight away on his watch. If it was a goal line technology decision, the game seemed to go on. I wonder what the Brentford fans were crying out for. I thought it was a handball at one stage, or. Maybe they were all just screaming goal. By the way, though, it's been given by the looks of it anyway. 1 0 Brentford. It seems like the ball was fired in at pace, direct from the free kick, and now, whilst he saved it, his feet were in the wrong place because it went over the line. We've seen this before at Brighton. We've seen this before at Brighton with the Thomas Hedder van. Like, his, his positioning sometimes is so suspect. And the ball was in before he managed to save it. How can that happen? Uh, Tom, what's that saying? Tommy Elphick's been sent off. For what? Kicking off about the goal, even though there's a uh, actual technology. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's completely on his own there, Dom, being asked to do everything. People needed it's to get up to quicker. There's two players. Fucking get up with it! reason at all. They've done nothing. We've given the goal. There's nothing in this game. We're the better side in my opinion.
Billings just done a really good ball through to Ryan Christie here. Can he get a good ball in? Tell you what, oh, no one was there. What a weird clearance. Oh, weird. Right, Semenyo. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. We thought Nato was dodgy. That was even worse. What a bad punch. Kept it out, kept it out. He did keep it out. He did. Half time then. One all. We gave him a head start, but we're back in it. Well, we've got Jamie here. Jamie, what do you make of that first half, mate? One all. Really good. Best I've seen us in a while. It was really good. And Neto's got to be. I'd love to see that goal again. It's a bit suspect. On that yeah. One. And a really sloppy free kick, but really good. God, Christie would be messy if he could finish. Oh, mate, he's been that everywhere. chance. The fans turned on him when he didn't shoot there. <laughs> yeah, he, he did well, he did well. And I thought Kirkes and Clive have been really good. And, good um, you know, Dom Solanke turned up when he needed to. Like, sometimes he's looked isolated even in this game. But it just shows that he can score those type of goals, doesn't it? <laughs> Clinical striker, so I'd love to see. Who gave him the assist? Who passed it? I can't it Phil? Yeah, it might have been. I can't remember that. Brilliant ball, great vision, because yeah. I didn't see it. But, yeah, very good chance, very good vision. Um, do you reckon, are you feeling confident that we can actually get the, the, the three yeah, points? I don't like to go at the end of half time because we weren't looking the better team. But yeah, and we got Hamed and Marcus to bring on. So, you know, easy win, three points. <laughs> George here, George, how are you, mate? Are you all right? George, what prediction did you say in the car on the way up this morning? Did you say the ball was going to win? Yeah, I said that will win 2 0. Well, 2 0, well, Brentford has scored one, but do you, do you think we're going to hang on and get another goal? Yeah, we might win 2 1. George says 2 1. Thank 
Right, we've got one minute of normal time to go. Just one minute. And I would hope that there's not too much else other than that. Six minutes of injury time. Six. Brentford fan, Simon here. Yeah, Simon, Sam, how, you how are you, fellow? You right? Yeah, not too bad, man. A bit hoarse, you know. Uh, all, I'm glad it ended the draw. I didn't want either team to lose. But, uh, you know, five miles, I think you were sort of like losing time at the end, you know, trying to hang on. Whereas if you got the third goal, you would have probably eased the pressure. But, you know, an away point for you, uh, another point for us. So, uh, I suppose move on really, you know, there's no point picking the bones out of a nah. performance, is there? You know, Rick Omery is obviously a, a really key player for us, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, Divins 2, Derby 2-2, two, two, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice one. Simon's yeah. happy. All right. We're okay. We're going to get back to the car then, and the Bluebirds are going as well. Up the chest. Drive down the M3 and the M27, quick McDonald's, mm. and here we are. Um, it was an all right day, mate. Yeah. Wasn't it? It's um, it's weird when you it's weird when you're in it because um, I, I guess because they scored late, I was thinking, oh, we, I was absolutely devastated. And then you look at things online, you see how many shots they had. They hit the post three times, yeah. and you go, yeah, we'll take the point, get out of there. But uh, yeah, frustrating how we. How we cocked that up at the end, but there was there was a lot of positives. We were leading for a good chunk of the game, yeah. like about 18, 19 minutes before yeah. they eventually did get the equaliser. But yeah. um, oh, a lot of positives, what could you mate. say? Yeah, there were a lot of positives, and yeah. you know the football was good to watch. That's yeah. some of the best yeah. attacking football I've seen in a long time. So all is yeah. not lost, is it? Yeah, no, exactly. It's it's very open. It's going to be yeah, it's going to be nervy at times, but it's definitely more enjoyable to watch. We're going all right. It's not ideal. We haven't won yet, but uh, you yeah, know, you look at. Tottenham and Liverpool where everyone goes yeah, it's bonus games in, in a way and then the other two we, we haven't lost either of them so yeah we'll see what happens mate we're, we're only just behind uh, Eddie you know what I mean we're, we're, we'll be fine don't worry about it get a few bodies back yeah. good to see a few of them back today obviously Tab making an impact Brooks is making impacts Lewis Cook got full play really well so it's showing already that once we get the bodies back I think we'll be absolutely fine mate and uh Calm down a bit now, I'm not as devastated. Not as devastated. Yeah. Right, we do the usual things like subscribe to our stuff. Yeah, Vlog, yeah. uh, fight cams coming up. Yeah. What else? Vlog. Away day look, show. Away day. Premier League. International and international break. Yeah. Love the chess. <laughs>